Uh, if you're not familiar um, with what a point of sale uh, is, certain municipalities in the Cleveland market, not actually the city of Cleveland itself. So like the previous property did not have this. But some of our suburbs we have here in the Cleveland market, like Newburgh Heights, Garfield Heights, Euclid, Lakewood used to have one. They no longer have one. Uh, Brooklyn and uh, Brooklyn has one. Um, there's a very, you know, a few of them that do, some don't. But what they do is they have a point of sale requirement. So when a seller sells a property, they have to bring the city out before they're allowed to transfer, and the city is going to issue violations, building code violations for things that they don't like. The seller then has to clear those all off, or the buyer, which would be you, can assume those, but you'll have to put money in escrow. So say there's $10,000 worth of repairs, they will make you put $10,000 with them, and then you'll have to spend a separate $10,000 fixing them after you take uh, possession of the property, take title to the property, and then and only then once you've spent a different set of money fixing the repairs, the city's going to come out, reinspect. If they give you the go-ahead, they will then give you back your original money. And if you don't do all this in the time that they allot you, they could issue uh, building code violations, which are minor misdemeanors. So sometimes it's a pain in the ass, but sometimes it could work for your benefit. What it does is it keeps uh, the properties uh, much better maintained, and Garf or Newburgh's is rather um, strict, but that's good for you because all of the properties. Newburgh is a very, very small little village. I think there's only like 15 streets. Okay, now it's in the 44105 zip code too. Just so you know, 44105 as far as that zip code. If it's 44105 in Cleveland proper, I don't like that neighborhood. Before we go into these photos, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you click, I only click on the map view for you. Okay, let me stretch this out. So you are here, right? This is you. This is your house, right? Newburgh Heights. This is Newburgh, just this tiny little section right here. This this little this little, you know, somewhere up in here. Not even all of this is actually Newburgh, but like some of this is Newburgh, okay? Very very tiny. This is patrolled by a ton of police, and it's super, super nice. It's got the 44105 zip code. If you were to go over here, like you start getting in the South Broadway area, this part of Cleveland also has the 44105 zip code, and that is an F-class neighborhood. That is not good. So don't just assume that if you find something in 44105, it's going to be C-class, because that's not the case. It's C-class in Newburgh. I like it in Newburgh, but if you find something in 44105, uh, with a Cleveland address, I think it's probably going to be F class. So that's very important. Cleveland doesn't have that point of sale, and then that part of Cleveland is just rather rough. Um, so that is part of the reason why when you see these exterior photos in Newburgh, like you don't see any peeling paint. You don't see anything. They're, they're super strict on the exterior. Like everybody's got just nice vinyl-sided stuff. You don't see any tuck pointing issues uh, with your bricks. They're super strict on like driveways, concrete cracking. And the seller, he's actually selling this to you point of sale violation free. Uh, that's why this is such a good deal, man. This property is just in really good repair. That's part of the reason I really like it. And you're not going to have to worry about upfront costs. So here's some of the inside. Now this is after his uh, you know, turnover renovation, his last turnover renovation. He has tenants in here. Just another shot of the neighborhood. You could just tell, like, it's just very well kept. It's super, super nice, man. Like, Newburgh is a C-class neighborhood, I'll say, but if we're comparing these two neighborhoods between um, the Cleveland property that I also consider C-class um, and this one, I would say this is much closer to B. This is very, very high C. So just the neighborhood quality um, and just the actual condition of the property itself. That's why I prefer this property. And the numbers, they're not as nice on paper, but they're still pretty damn good. So let's get into those. Hey. 